Look at this. Can you believe that's my campsite? So the National Geographic map that I have, they're waterproof and wrinkle-proof and all that stuff. A really nice map. And on it, it said, uh, camping is free in the back country. Um, you just have to get a permit. Well, it turns out, uh, camping is not free. It's $35 a night. Which, I mean, that's the most expensive camping that I've ever paid for, for backcountry camping. But you gotta admit, we're at a play, when you're at a place like this, you know, and it's decent, it's got enough, you know, firewood and stuff that I can collect wood, fire pit, nice logs. But the view, yeah, I figure this is worth $35 for sure. Wow, so I just met this couple um, with two of their boys. I don't know, one was like five and one was 10. Uh, they were from Santa Cruz, California. Uh, both of them were biologists and uh, they were hiking on a trail that kind of goes through my campsite. Um, and I wanted to go on that trail anyways, so I asked to join them and um, kind of just hiked along with them up to Jackson Lake. Wow, really cool people. Uh, they gave me some great advice on places to go. After I hiked to the lake with them, they were fishing there, and I figured I'd just hike back. I've just been kind of collecting wood and stuff. Oh man, it's beautiful everywhere here. Well, I'm just sitting over here at my bear box, cooking up some hamburger noodle corn, hot dish. It's kind of weird when I was hiking with that family earlier, uh, they brought up a good point. They tell you that you're not supposed to have food uh, anywhere close to, you know, where you're sleeping, yet they've put the bear boxes, you know, right next to where you put your tent. They have grill grates on the fire pit, which is, again, right next to where you put your tent. So, I mean, the sites aren't really set up for their rules, which is weird. I think it's like 100 to 200 feet away from uh, your your campsite is where you're supposed to do your food stuff. Um, so I'm just doing it right at the bear box. I figure there's food here already. You can really tell how much the sun impacts the mood when it's just glaring at you one second and then all of a sudden it's gone and you're stuck in the shadows of it. So you can see, I've gathered a lot of wood. Um, more than I need, I'm, I'm not even gonna process that stuff. I'll leave that for someone else, but I'll, I mean, obviously I won't be burning all this tonight. So I usually like to leave a little bit for the next person. This is the kind of moment that I'll bring with me wherever I go. So for starting my fire tonight, um, I have a little wound and I was tending to it and I have some wrappers left over because of that. Uh, one of the wrappers has like, I don't know, kind of like the foil that you see sometimes inside. So I'm just gonna use that as kind of, you know, something to jumpstart the fire. And then I'll start just adding things on. Got a couple sticks with these, this like fuzzy moss stuff. Set that over it. All right, now that's good and established, we'll put on a couple significant, more significant pieces. Some bacon. 
phase two.